an ideogram or ideograph from Greek idea 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 and grapho grapho to write is a graphic symbol that represents an idea or concept independent of any particular language and specific words or phrases some ideograms are comprehensible only by familiarity with prior convention, others convey their meaning through pictorial resemblance to a physical object, and thus may also be referred to as pictograms. Terminology In proto-writing, used for inventories and the like, physical objects are represented by stylized or conventionalized pictures, or pictograms. For example, the pictorial Dongba symbols without Geba annotation cannot represent the Nashi language, but are used as a mnemonic for reciting oral literature. Some systems also use ideograms, symbols denoting abstract concepts. The term, ideogram, is often used to describe symbols of writing systems such as Egyptian hieroglyphs, Sumerian cuneiform and Chinese characters. However, these symbols are logograms, representing words or morphemes of a particular language rather than objects or concepts. In these writing systems, a variety of strategies were employed in the design of logographic symbols. Pictographic symbols depict the object referred to by the word, such as an icon of a bull denoting the Semitic word alep, ox. Some words denoting abstract concepts may be represented iconically, but most other words are represented using the rebus principle, borrowing a symbol for a similarly sounding word. Later systems used selected symbols to represent the sounds of the language, for example the adaptation of the logogram for alep, ox, as the letter aleph representing the initial sound of the word, a glottal stop. Many signs in hieroglyphic as well as in cuneiform writing could be used either logographically or phonetically. For example, the Akkadian sign an could be an ideograph for deity, an ideogram for the god Anum in particular, a logograph for the Akkadian stem il, deity, a logograph for the Akkadian word samu, sky, or a syllabogram for either the syllable and or il. Although Chinese characters are logograms, two of the smaller classes in the traditional classification are ideographic in origin. Simple ideographs are abstract symbols such as shang shang up, and sha sha down, or numerals such as san san three. Semantic compounds are semantic combinations of characters, such as ming ming bright, composed of ri ri sun, and yu yu moon, or shu shu rest, composed of ren ren person, and mu mu tree. In the light of the modern understanding of old Chinese phonology, researchers now believe that most of the characters originally classified as semantic compounds have an at least partially phonetic nature. An example of ideograms is the collection of 50 signs developed in the 1970s by the American Institute of Graphic Arts at the request of the U.S. Department of Transportation. The system was initially used to mark airports and gradually became more widespread. Mathematics Mathematical symbols are a type of ideogram. Proposed universal languages Inspired by inaccurate early descriptions of Chinese and Japanese characters as ideograms, many Western thinkers have sought to design universal written languages, in which symbols denote concepts rather than words. An early proposal was an essay towards a real character, and a philosophical language by John Wilkins. A recent example is the system of bliss symbols, which was proposed by Charles K. Bliss in 1949 and currently includes over 2,000 symbols equals equals see also